Good morning. It's Emma Saturn again here in Jazz. Okay, today I'm going to speak much slower. Are you taking note of this, Laurie? I hope so. I have taken your comments into consideration. Okay, this morning I'm going to actually show you how to make one of mine and also my children's favourite soup. And it's called, it's a, ye a yellow courgette soup. This is a yellow courgette. The rest I've already chopped up like this. You can chop it, it it's best to chop it small. We have parmesan, freshly grated parmesan. And we have one head of garlic. One whole head of garlic. Olive oil. And we have a litre of, a litre of chicken stock. Now, because I have used, because I'm making quite a big quantity, because there's going to be quite a few of us today, I am using a Spanish bowl, which is made of terracotta and comes from Andalusia in the south of Spain. So you want to get the, the heat underneath it fairly hot, so whether you use a fine pan, or a saucepan or something like this, it needs to be hot. So we start off by putting a fair of olive oil in. As you know, as you notice, I do cook predominantly with olive oil. Occasionally I work in sunflower oil if it's Asian cooking, but I tend to use olive oil because it's the cleanest and, and the best oil, in my, in my opinion, for your health. And it also tastes good. And we're also rather privileged here because we're only two hours for a Spanish border. Now, as you can feel, the heat is coming up on that. And as you can see, my assistant is helping me. We're gonna, I'm going to just test it. No, it's not quite to the heat. So just bear with me a moment. Right, it's coming up. <laughs> it's coming up now, right. So you simply just put the courgettes in. <laughs> now you want to give them a, oops. Why is everything falls out? I need to buy bigger pots. I need to buy bigger pots. Now, the idea of actually frying the courgettes before is to give them a lovely caramelised taste. Okay, that's just had a little bit of a wish. Okay. The next ingredient I'm going to add is garlic. Now, The amount of garlic you put in is, obviously it is personal, and as I've said many, many times before, I love garlic. It's fantastic for you. It cleans the blood and everything. So I, for this amount of courgettes, I will put a whole, I've got a whole head of just peeled garlic, just left whole, okay? And we just throw those in. Because they will cook with the courgettes. So, we just want to keep giving them a bit of a stir. Like that. We want to add a little bit of pepper. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Just keep stirring. By the way, this soup is actually the nicest soup ever. So. Yep. Yes, it's one of those soups that if I put on the table, I'm lucky if I get a bowl, I usually get to lick the empty bowl. Like the kids when you're making a chocolate cake and you let them, and you give them the bowl to, to, to lick afterwards. Well, in my house, it's the other way around. Or I have to hide a bowl. 
you watch? No. <laughs> Okay, this actually, this this process actually takes, depending on the quantity you're cooking, uh, anything up to about five minutes. Okay, now this is browned enough because it's quite a lot of quantity. It's starting to brown and starting to break up. Okay, as you can see. I would normally do this in a frying pan. Um, and therefore it would brown more so. But because of the quantity of people I've got coming for this evening, I um, have had to use this. Now, I'm adding the chicken stock, which you can see is in a different bowl because it's best for the chicken stock to be hot, as with a risotto, etc. There's about a litre. Now, you just give this a stir and just have a little look and see. Yeah, I think we can, we can add a bit more to that. So, to the quantity I've got here, yeah, that's a litre of chicken stock put in. Now, we just want to, because the courgettes are already cooked, we don't want the garlic cooked through, but it is, it's soft. We just want to leave that to simmer and to come up to the boil. Right now, it, as you can see, it's come, it is, has actually come to a boil. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just going to switch the heat off. This will still stay hot because it's, as you can see, it's, it's uh, like a, um, it's a hot plate burner. I've got about, I don't know, 200 grams-ish of fresh grated parmesan. And we're just going to throw that in, all of it, like that. I'm going to take it off the heat. Give it a stir, just to get the parmesan in. Yeah, this is dogs. Yeah, the dogs are everywhere. These are my dogs. He's well, one of them is mine, but I'll... Right. Featuring Chase. <laughs> OK. Now, because it's still hot, and I've already lost one matching mix mole by putting something that's too hot in it, I tend to use one of these. I don't know what you call them in America. I call it my whizzer. And you just... <laughs> Have a little bit of a stir. Right, just put that bit there in here. There we go. Oh. Okay, now it's it's mixed. Look at the, it's got an amazingly thick consistency. Right, I've got my testers here. Right. I'll do that because it's obviously it's still very hot. Elsa, I, tell, tell me, tell everybody what you think. Uh, it's really blood. Trop bon. Trop bon? Mmm, that means it's very nice. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> this is sure. Now, Izzy, do you want to have a taste yeah. and let us all know what you think? It's fabulous. Is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you going to leave me a bowl? No. <laughs> you sure? Positive. Well, listen, thank you guys once again for 
watching this video and watching my little assistants, well, not so little assistants, tasting my pochette soup with parmesan, yellow pochette soup. Listen, guys, like... Give it a thumbs up! Give it, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Share the video! And comment. And if you want the whole recipe, check me out on Facebook. Subscribe! Emma Saturn. I will put the recipe, it will be up in the next 24 hours on my timeline. And connect, connect, connect. And I, I'm, I'm waiting to see you all on IQ Connect, because that's where I'm heading. All right, bye-bye for now.